morning, boys and girls. How are you? Happy, happy Sunday. Boys and girls, this is the third Sunday in July. Guess what? The weeks are going fast, aren't they? But boys and girls, we got a good, good lesson for you today. Remember the three W's. What are we going to do? Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. What are we going to do? Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. And we're going to get started with our lesson today. And last Sunday, the first Sunday, we talked about in the beginning. It was three words. And it was found in the book of John. Last Sunday, it was talking about he's alive. Okay? Um, yes, that it was alive. Okay? So this Sunday, we are talking about one word, alive. Alive. Okay? How many words is the lesson? Whoop, one. Let's count. Zero, one. Boys and girls, and I know you have your paper and pencil, mom and dad, y'all sitting down so they can be able to teach you the lesson. And the topic is, is alive. And it's found in the book of what? We've been in it all month. The book of what? Good job, John. And John, is that in the Old Testament or the New? That's right. Old Testament, which is it, that in the front or is it in the back? Back, good job, okay? And today we're talking about who? Jesus, Lazarus, Mary, Martha, and the people. What are we talking about? Jesus, Lazarus, Mary, Martha, and the people. Okay, we ready? Let's get started. That was a man named Lazarus, who was very sick. He was sick. Mm-hmm. Very sick. He had two sisters named Mary and Martha. Mm-hmm. They loved their brother. Mm-hmm. They loved their brother, and they wanted him to get better because they knew he was sick. They wanted him to get better. But each day, it got he got worse. He was going on down. So they sent for the only healer they knew, and it was who? Jesus. They sent for the only person that could heal him, and it was who? Jesus. Okay? Okay? But guess what? We knew his brother. Their brother was real, real sick, okay? While they was waiting, Jesus, waiting for Jesus to come, Lazarus, he did something. He died. Lazarus died, boys and girls. But remember, in the other lesson, we just talked about last Sunday having some what? What's that faith word? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But guess what? Listen, boys and girls. After four days, Jesus came. How many days? Four. Zero, one, two, three, four. After four days. Jesus came. Mary and Martha, they were sad. And they, uh-huh, they were sad. Mary and Martha, they, they were sad. And they thought Jesus had arrived too late. They were so sad. Because Jesus wasn't there. The man been dead how many days? Four. Jesus cried with them. He held and he wept with them. They cried, okay? But still he encouraged them. He encouraged them to what? Believe. Have some faith in his power to resurrect or bring someone back to life. They wanted them to have some faith. Believe that Jesus, because Jesus could do anything. All things are possible with Jesus. Always remember that no matter what you go through, Jesus can fix it if you just let him fix it, okay? Jesus can have all powers in his hand. He can bring them back from the dead, all right? After four days being dead, Jesus went to Lazarus' tomb, okay? After four days, Jesus went to Lazarus' tomb. In a loud voice, he called him and said, Lazarus, Lazarus come forth. Come out! Lazarus, Lazarus come, come forth. Out. Okay, he said it. With stripes of cloth on his biters, Lazarus' remarkables 
he walked out. He got up. And he walked out. He's alive. But he'd been dead how many days? Four. Everyone was so, so surprised and saw Jesus' power on display. This time they saw what Jesus done. It was on display. He told, what did he do? He called Lazarus. Lazarus, Lazarus come, out. come forth. He said, everyone was, I would have been surprised too. Wait a minute. This man been dead six, that four days. Yeah, I would have been surprised. And the man got up and came out. Boys and girls, that's the end of this lesson. But let's go back and recap. That was good, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. How many words is it? One. Who are we talking about? Jesus. Man named Lazarus. Mary. Martha. And the people. And it's found in the book of what? John, which is in the what? Back of the Bible, which is in the what? Old Testament. There was a man named who? Lazarus, who was very, very sick. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. They loved their brother so, so much, and they wanted him to get better. Mm -hmm. But each and every day, he got worse, okay? So they sent word to the only healer they knew. Who was that? Jesus. That's right. It was Jesus. So while they waited on Jesus to come, Lazarus did something. What did Lazarus do? He died. Yes. After four days, here comes Jesus. Jesus came. Mary and Martha was so, so sad. And they, and they thought Jesus arrived too late. They thought he was just, it's too late. My brother's already dead. You're too late, Jesus. But guess what? Jesus knew what was going on. He wanted them to believe, okay? Jesus cried with them, and he wept with them. Uh-huh. But he still encouraged them to believe in the power to resurrect or to bring someone back to life. He wanted them to believe. Have some faith. Yes, believe, believe. The B word and what? Tell me. Faith, the F word. At the four days. Of being dead. Jesus went to Lazarus' tomb. He went to the tomb. In a loud voice. He called him. And he said what? Lazarus, Lazarus come, come forth. out. Uh-huh. With stripes, strips of cloth on his body. Lazarus, miraculous, came out. Everyone was so, so surprised. And saw Jesus' power, his miracle on display. They saw what Jesus did right then. Boys and girls, that's the end of this. Was this lesson not good? Yes, it was. It was real, real good. Yes. Okay, boys and girls, that's the end of our lesson. Remember, alive. And I will see you next Sunday, Miss Priscilla and myself. If we outside, speak to us. And also, we'll be going back live with Sunday School in the um, Enrichment Center. So come over there first Sunday at 9.45. What time? 9.45 Sunday school, okay? We look forward to having you and seeing you, okay? Talk to you later. But remember the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. See you then. Bye. I love you. Mwah.